guys, how are you today? I hope you're doing well and this reading finds you in a good way. My name is Durga Diana from Empathic Moon 777. I am your tarot card reader and uh, today is the Daily Tarot Messages from Loving Spirit series. This is Monday's reading, general reading, so only take what resonates, simply leave what does not and follow your intuition on the reading and definitely uh, to help us and our algorithm for our channel to grow and to thrive, um, please uh, be sure to like or subscribe. And uh, we're also on Instagram and TikTok where I've done some readings on uh, the weekend. I also did a live reading um, not too long ago, the Divine Masculine Energy Update on YouTube as well. So um, here we go. This could be for a soul connection to inflame connection. This is regarding love and relationships and it's up to spirit. So let's see what's coming through today for Monday. Um, so we're also going to be going into the full moon, guys. So um, a lot of, um, a lot. Of, oh, I think Mercury retrograde ends today. So congratulations to everybody. We made it through. Um, we're still going to be in the shadow phase uh, for maybe another Two weeks or so but uh the the heavier stuff has been completed so congratulations we're going to continue to move forward there's also planets that have been in retrograde for some time and they're actually going to be going back uh to its regular um its regular cycle so that's also another thing too and then the full moon uh coming up on the 20th so, uh, and then we're going to be having some eclipses. So there's a lot of things happening right now. It's all, you know, for our highest good. And sometimes it may not seem like that, uh, but go with the flow and um, the energy here. There's a, a lot of challenging energies here, especially with the feminine's energy in this reading. She's going through some kind of shadow energy. All right. There is some kind of... Um, there's some energy here regarding um, healing the inner child. There is an energy of feeling guarded. So it's almost like um, a wounded child energy. Um, and it's like breaking through that wounded child energy that's coming through. It's being highlighted today from spirit. So I'm going to talk about what's coming through today. Um, so we have guarded healing inner child and epiphany and breakthrough all right so what i'm getting here it's it's an energy uh of feeling um like you may feel guarded like you could be guarded towards from other people like you're unsure uh because you, there was a hurt there now this could be a wounding from the inner child um because it could come from that past from the child um, and it could be associated with twin flame connections um, this could be something that is being triggered right now but um, the main thing here is that there is an epiphany and a breakthrough all right so something is wanting to break through regarded this regarding this inner child and this guarded energy all right um, it's definitely not a comfortable energy here uh, feeling guarded, you may be aware of that. Yes, I am guarded um, around other people. Um, maybe it's hard for me to be vulnerable. Um, there's something about your vulnerability and, and feeling guarded in connection to that, like um, being able to be who you are, to express who you are. And it's coming from this mirror here. There's a child here. There's some kind of inner child energy here. It has to do with the child. It has to do with something that when you were small, okay, some kind of wounding there, some kind of healing, maybe sending light, maybe sending love, maybe sending forgiveness to yourself, forgiveness to the people that were in your life that hurt you. And maybe that is manifesting in your reality uh, with other people all right so there's this energy here coming through and um, this guarded energy is connected to shoes it says here sexy shoes and fetish all right so there's something here regarding sexuality all right there is something here that is regarding some kind of um it says here fetish like there's something about 
someone liking something about you in a sexual way. All right, that's what I'm getting here. Um, there is some kind of guarded energy there. Um, that's what I'm getting. Uh, fetish is something that, uh, it's something of a sexual nature. And uh, there could be different types of fetishes. It's something that you like, right? It's something that turns you on kind of thing. Um, and so with the sexy shoes here, it could be about, um, like it could be about, um, how you are portrayed or how you are perceived. Um, it has to do with something sexual, all right, that is connected to you that is causing you to feel vulnerable all right and um this healing the inner child this is coming through uh for having some kind of conversations and drinks here so um i'm getting here like this this guarded energy here this healing is coming in uh so that there can be some type of conversations to take place all right being able to talk all right being able to have a conversation all right maybe um about what's happening or um being able to open up um being in a casual setting uh, where you feel comfortable in uh, certain settings like public settings here it says cocktails it could be like a restaurant or like in a social gathering where people are coming together having drinks and conversating with each other it could be regarding that the healing for this energy to come out in uh, in a way where you're comfortable all right because uh, there's this energy of uh, epiphany here all right, having a breakthrough. There is some kind of frustrating energy coming through here. Uh, this frustration may have to do with love, with that heart. Something is uh, tied up, all right, when it comes to the heart that is causing some type of frustration, all right? And uh, with this frustration, it's it's uh, this, this epiphany and breakthrough is wanting to come out, wanting to break free, wanting to uh, have some kind of realization as to, okay, uh, the reasons as to why I'm feeling this way and, and healing that is what I'm getting, all right? So this is the energy coming through for today for our collective. And um, this is regarding limitations, all right? Limitations into uh, breadcrumb energies, all right? So this all has to do here with um this has to do with uh people or situations that are only giving you uh breadcrumbs like that's how it's manifesting in your life like certain people it could be people that you the people that you care about um it could be your person here uh giving you breadcrumbs like that's how it's manifesting right and there's limitations uh, that are occurring for you, right? And uh, there are also fears in connection to that because um, the limitations here for you, the fears around uh, this breadcrumb energy, like it's it's not something that you desire, all right? This just enough to keep you. It's not it's not something. It's holding you back, right? It's holding you back because. It's holding you back from fully having this energy here. I'm not saying um, like to be in an energy of a social setting where you're c completely comfortable, something like that. Um, because there's this energy of breadcrumbs here. Like it's just uh, something small. All right. It's not something whole. It's not from a place of uh, full love that you could fully be loved kind of thing. There are limitations and fears, all right? That's the reason why this energy here is coming through, all right? So um, the situation here, now let's talk about the situation. This is the background energy, right? Uh, 
about um, the energy today and the situation here, like the whole where this is coming from is coming from a, a love affair. All right. The situation involving a love affair. All right. This is like um, cheating. This is like uh, doing things behind uh, closed doors kind of things. It's secrets. All right. It says dirty little secret down low. All right. So it has to do with this energy here that has occurred. This is the situation and um, the situation involving a retaliation. So what I'm getting here, it's like um, things not things not blowing up regarding this love affair energy. All right. Um, revenge. Okay. So uh, what I feel here is that there's a lot of like, um, hmm, it's like a, an alone energy. It's like you're doing this on your own is what I'm getting here. All right. You're doing this on your own to work on this. Okay. Um, so that's what's coming through here. And then uh, it's regarding um, also uh, feeling anchored weighed down in relation to um social media fake profile hiding all right so somebody could be hiding all right and uh somebody could be mm, you know feeling weighed down in connection to social media so somebody like um uh like they feel like they're uh like they have they're weighed down like they're held down um when it comes to something regarding social media all right so this could be for you or this could be for your person like it could be you like being weighed down in connection to social media right um maybe perhaps because there's no uh communication and same thing with your person. Uh, your person could be also uh, weighed down in connection to uh, what's taking place on social media. All right. This social media could be uh, like your different uh, social media platforms or I don't know if you're a reader. It could be about readings as well. Um, but it says here access granted. So there is some kind of... Um, what do you call it, spying kind of energy, or it could be like finding things online, all right? Okay, um, this also too could be, um, um, no, I'm going to leave it at that there, okay. Uh, so what is the energy of the masculine in this reading? So masculine and feminine, just take it how it resonates, disregard it as the energy. All right. So I have the energy here, uh, for the masculine, the masculine's energy towards the feminine is that, um, he wants to plant seeds. All right. He's planting some type of seeds. There is some kind of, um, intention to grow something there's an intention to grow something here and this seeds have to, has to do with the stalemate and um avoidance so i feel like what your person is doing is that there are some seeds here that they are going to be planting in relation to um in relation to uh, an avoidance, an avoidance with you or an avoidance of the, the situation. This could be perceived um, as an avoidance or this is an actual avoidance. The stalemate means not moving. So uh, things could not be moving between the two of you at this time. And that's what I'm getting a sense of. There may be a separation here. Uh, and with the seeds here, I feel like there is an intention to uh, start to grow something. All right, let's see what the seeds is about.
look at that. Okay, so planting some seeds here with the feminine here. That's with you, okay? In relation to this avoidance. Look at here. It's in relation to decisions. Okay, so this is about him making a decision. You got two roads there, left or right. And uh, the decisions about karma and justice balance, all right? How to... Um, balance the scales of karma and justice this has to do with the decision um his energy today is to plant some type of seeds uh regarding the feminine uh and this avoidance all right let's see what this avoidance tell us more about this avoidance avoidance self-care okay so um, this could be um, like uh, for him, like for his self-care, okay, why is he avoiding himself, all right? This could also be his feminine energy, like his feminine energy, like to nurture, all right? This could be... Uh, also, his energy here is to plant some t seeds to nurture uh, this avoidance or stalemate of self-care, all right? Loving self, all right? Making some type of decisions when it comes to karma and justice, all right? And now, when I think about this too, I also think about the feminine here, planting some type of seeds in relation to the feminine and... Uh, regarding um some kind of avoidance or self-care energy like this is for like why he avoided himself like why is he not taking action um towards something that feels good for him something that is like a, a loving energy for him it's a self-care energy why is there a self uh why is there an avoidance or so stalemate with this taking action with something that I like, something that I need, something that is good for me, all right? Planting seeds in connection to that, all right? So that's his energy today. And the feminine's energy today is very challenging. We have shadow side. So she's going through like a dark night energy. She she may be battling um, heavy energies. Like she could be um, battling her shadow self. All right. Um, there is fears. Uh, there's doubts. It's a very heavy energy. And the shadow is in connection to union. All right. So this is about coming together. All right. Uh, like I said here, it says here limitations to this breadcrumbs. There's fears. You know, I don't I don't want this breadcrumbs energy. And uh, so she's going through this shadow of this uh, union coming together. All right. So this is what's coming through here. There's a very, you know, challenging energy to work through here with this reading coming through. And this is about her and her reflection. What is being projected to her and what is she seeing at this time in the mirror? So this mirror is kind of broken up, right? It's all cracked. That's how things are being reflected to her at this time. She's facing this shadow. Uh, it's related to union. Alrighty. So that's the reading, guys. Let me know if this resonates. I love you guys. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Take care.